What's up guys, it's Oblivious Gamer here. And well, today I just wanted to give my impressions after playing Trinity Trigger, a new action RPG that just came out. This game was developed by Three Rings and published by XC. The game is currently priced at $49.99 and it's out for the PS4, PS5, PC and Nintendo Switch. Now a thing with this game is they're trying to emulate iconic 90s JRPGs or RPGs with a fast paced customizable combat. Now a thing that you might see and I think what I closest could be is uh, this game is very similar in some elements to Secrets of Mana. So if you are a fan of this game, maybe you want to take a look at this. So our story takes place in the fantasy world of Trinitia. And apparently in this world there was a battle over control of it between like two gods, the gods of order and the gods of chaos. And apparently the gods chose humans to fight as their warriors and that's basically the start of the point. For us, we follow our main character whose name is Cyan. Obviously along the way you would meet your two other main characters which are Elise and Santis. Now Cyan is an average person from a small village but he has been chosen by the gods of chaos to be a warrior of chaos. The reason he decides to set out for an adventure is because he learns that there's people out there who want to prevent this fight from happening because there's supposed to be a fight to settle this war between the gods of order and chaos. And a way to prevent the fight from happening is you can kill the representative or the warriors that represent the gods. If you kill them, basically you have to wait until there's another human born to represent the god of chaos or order. So basically you can stall the final fight or you know this war as long as you keep killing the representatives. And apparently this is like an evil group who just wants to take control of the world and of course Sion sets out because obviously he is a potential target and now the story is very straightforward. A lot of tropes from JRPGs, you know, gods, chosen ones, amnesia of who they are, you know, all that kind of stuff. So if it's something that you find annoying, maybe it's not gonna be for you. A big thing with this game though is the art style looks very beautiful and some of the cutscenes are amazing to watch. Like they really put a lot of effort in that department. And just watching them is like, it looks super nice. Now, in terms of gameplay, I would say this is very similar to Secret of Mana. So you will control a chibi character and you'll be traversing between environments. Obviously, you don't control the camera, so you only see it from a specific point of view. There! Huh? Yeah. Yeah. How's this? Try to keep up. You're finished. Yeah. Huh. Here, bullseye. Huh. Here. Yeah. Huh. Got you. You'll be able to go to villages, talk to people, purchase, you know, equipment, weapons, explore the environment because there's like hidden chests in certain areas. Like you will know how many chests there are in the areas, but like it's up to you to like figure out where they are hiding. Then when it comes to the combat, I don't want to say it's very simple because there's different weapons, there's different like moves that each weapon have and you can level them up to increase their power. But the combat at times feel easy. You know, like, I don't feel myself struggling too much. Obviously, like, I'm switching weapons on the fly, switching characters, doing their trigger attacks. We 
can do this. Feeling tougher already. Yeah. 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 And that can be enjoyable, but definitely, like, at times, it can feel, like, very easy. A very important aspect of the game, which I mentioned, is triggers. So, triggers are, like, like, these creatures that you meet, and they become, like, usable weapons. And eventually, you can do trigger attacks, which, once your weapon starts glowing, you can throw in a devastating move. Another thing, though, that Sion will have is the ability to switch weapons. Right now, like, you can have, like, a bow, you can have a sword, and you can switch them up. And, of course, switching your characters on the fly also when in combat. Boss fights are very simple in the sense that, like, they always have an armor that you have break, which stuns them once you break it, and then you can attack their health. <laughs> This game also does feature something interesting, which is local multiplayer. It doesn't have online, just local. But you're able to co-op with somebody. So up to three, because there's three characters. In the end, I would say, like, if you're a fan of JRPGs and Secret of Mana, definitely this game will meet some of your expectations, especially, you know, that nostalgia trip that you're gonna take with some of the elements here. This is not like a game that is 10 out of 10, but there's definitely a lot of stuff here that you will find enjoying and entertaining. Though the game can be a bit short, I mean, it will be up to you. I've seen people be able to complete this game in like 16 hours to 20 hours. Now, Trinity Trigger is out for PS5, PS4, PC, and the Nintendo Switch for $49.99. I think it's definitely like if you like JRPGs and you're interested in that 90s nostalgia trip, then definitely it's a game to buy. Obviously, uh, you can wait for a sale, but if you do see the game on a sale, it's definitely a must buy because there's so much here to enjoy. Beautiful art, music, a combat that can be fun with like a story that you sort of can see what to expect. As always, this is just my thoughts. What are your thoughts, guys? Have you tried Trinity Trigger? Feel free to leave your thoughts down below. This has been Oblivious Gamer, and I hope you'll have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are.